All right, by popular request, today we're going to be talking about Magic Mask inside the Vintry Resolve 17. A lot of you asked me to do video about it and explain a little bit how it works. So here it is. Today we're going to be using footage from Blackmagic Pocket Camera. And I'm gonna show you how to use Magic Mask or Magic Brush as it's known in After Effects. And basically just gonna show you a couple different things that you need to know about it. So here I have a little clip um, of Jack going down the stairs. It was our little goof that we filmed. So the first thing, let me just give it a kind of little look. That way we, we have something interesting um, to work with. Let's see, let's use Gen 5, the new color. Uh, California. Okay, California or, yeah, let's do California. Okay, so here we have a look for our clip. Now, let's say that either director or you maybe as an editor want to work a little bit more on actual character. Well, basically what the magic mask is, is a little rotoscoping cheat that in certain cases is very helpful and you don't need to work really hard to get a nice result. So I'm going to do a new note, okay, just like that. And I'm going to call this one Roto. Okay, just like this. And in the magic mask, which is located over here, we have a couple things to choose from. We can either choose a person or we can choose features. So what's the difference? Very simple. A person going to select your entire human body. When you go to the features, you can select a different body parts like arms, torso, face, hair, and so on. In our case, I want to do person. Okay, so let's do this. Let's find average, nice medium frame. And I'm going to select this little plus over here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a nice rough selection, just like that. Now we're going to click on this little mask and it's going to show you what the selection is in this case. Now, Unfortunately, I still have old graphics card 1080 Ti because I cannot buy new ones since, you know, all the gamers and the short supply and the miners and all that. It's almost impossible to get. However, with the new NVIDIA graphics cards uh, 30 series, this is going to work much, much faster because they have that neural engine thing going on. And basically, this is a neural engine gimmick over here. So as we can see, it did... Nah, fairly okay selection. So how can we fix it? Well, simply just click again over here and over here and basically right here and it's going to do kind of like refining. Now, if you don't have a very powerful GPU like the 30 series, I highly recommend to stay away from the better because once you're going to click better, first of all, it's not going to make too much of a dramatic difference between faster and better but it's going to take a huge toll on your performance. So keep that in mind when you're going to do something like that. So now we have a little control and basically what we can do, we can just simply start playing around with the smart refine, with the radius and basically try to see what looks best. There's no default settings that I can tell you by right away, it's going to make everything looks amazing. However, just playing around and you'll see basically results. So now let's click forward and we can see how it's tracking forward. And I can tell you, this is absolutely fantastic results, especially that I literally didn't really do anything. I just clicked one time and this is what we have. In reality, it saves hours of rotoscoping work. So I think this is incredible. And obviously more down the line, DaVinci is going to refine this feature even more and better. So now let's do tracking backwards. Okay, and we can see it's actually really, really good. All right, so here we have our selection. 
What can we do with it? Well, we can do pretty much whatever we want. For example, if I feel like this character is a little bit too saturated, we can just take away a little bit saturation from him and kind of make him look like he's standing out among the grade. So I think that's pretty cool. So let's click play. And we can see how really cool this effect is. And especially in certain cases, you can completely get away by doing crazy things. And if subject moving fast, nobody really going to notice. So here again, let me do maybe a little bit of contrast, something like that, or maybe we can even cool him down a little bit. All right, something like that. Then we're gonna play a little bit with the blend. Okay, that looks really cool actually. And let's see, we can do a little bit of motion blur. Okay, to our character, just like that. And let's click play and see how everything looks. Even though I know what you're gonna say, you can see edges and whatnot, obviously I didn't really refine it that good. However, just to have this kind of ability built in in the editing program is absolutely incredible. And as you can see, within really seconds, I got pretty amazing result. Obviously, if you want to have better quality, you have to sit a little bit longer, refine, and kind of do frame by frame. But for something really quick and dirty, this is absolutely fantastic. And this is how you use the new Magic Mask feature inside DaVinci Resolve. Be sure to check out new fantastic LUTs for Blackmagic, Gen 5, Color Science. I'm going to put a link right above, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Take care.